As we're nearing flu season and getting to that time where a lot more people are starting to feel bad, Dr. Susan Bankston, a pediatrician with the Baton Rouge Clinic, is here to tell us how we can all stay healthy. Good morning. How's it good going? Morning. It's really good, actually. Life yeah. is good. Good. So. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks for being here, as no always. A lot of people are starting to get more and more sick, starting to feel bad. Right. A lot of it has to do with those kiddos going back to school. But oh my gosh. is there anything in particular you guys are seeing an increase in? Okay, so basically you go back to school, what do you do? You touch everything, yeah. what do you do? You touch your eyes, you rub your eyes, you cry at school, you get diseases. And most of those diseases are viruses, and that's what we are seeing right now. So you've got an uptick in uh, things like um, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. That's coming. It maybe isn't there quite yet. But that's something that's re really good about the RSV these years. I can't believe I just said what's right. really good about the RSV. <laughs> But there are now vaccines that will protect those grandparents who usually are the ones who will be taking care of those kids when they get kicked out of daycare with RSV. Also, we have vaccines for pregnant moms now that will give that child once born some immunity so that first year of life when RSV is the toughest on you, it's, it, they're protected. Um, because why the RSV, it's really not a vaccine, it's monoclonal antibody. We will not board you people with that today. <laughs> but that, which is normally called the RSV vaccine, is not available unless you're a premature baby or you have a heart condition or chronic illness. So now we have ways to help lower that RSV problem. Another, va another virus that's running around is hand, foot, and mouth. All the daycares are, are loving that one because sure. the kids are all spotted. I usually call it hand, foot, mouth, and butt because in that younger age group, they do get the rash on the behind. So parents, if you see that, please let your pediatricians know. Yeah, absolutely. We are seeing some COVID. That's such a hot topic, um, but we are seeing some COVID, but it's so much milder than what was in 2020. Um, sore throats in the teenagers, uh, lots of stuffy noses, congestion. A lot of people come in thinking I have a sinus infection when in fact they have COVID. Um, do the home test, guys, uh, especially if you have fever. Um, they're easy to do, they are accurate. And if you have it, the CDC says now, you just have to stay home till you haven't had fever for five days, which is what we do for every virus. Mm -hmm. And then they are asking if you could wear a mask for the five days after that. But it's really not like, you know, oh my gosh, you have to go into quarantine forever. Right. Well, that's good to hear. And no matter what virus we get or how we're feeling or anything like that, any little tips to kind of help us make sure we don't start to feel a little yeah. run down? So my big thing was, you know, the touching. So wash your hands. Uh, hand washing is still the best thing you can do. Any vaccines, such as we do have the flu vaccines coming, they'll be available probably in September. Um, uh, you know, people talk about, do I get it September, October? Somewhere in there, talk to your doctor. Um, but you'll get a flu vaccine. We'll have them at the Baton Rouge Clinic. We'll have flu clinics, that sort of thing. Watch your my charts if you're a Baton Rouge Clinic patient. Um, hand washing. Uh, teach your kid to uh, cough into their elbow. You cannot can't touch your elbow, whereas if I cough into my hand, I'm going to touch everywhere. Right. Um, and then uh, uh, it, we do have COVID vaccines. If you haven't gotten one, they're available. Um, and uh, hand washing getting enough sleep that's a big one too i think i struggle with that for sure really? and now that you're touching the desk you're making me think i need to clean this whole thing again I so I thanks for reminding me about that yeah <laughs> well thank you so much dr bankston for coming by giving us some good tips hopefully none of us will get sick so i appreciate it and gabrielle <laughs> can i say one more thing there is some walking pneumonia out there i meant to talk about that mm -hmm. so if your kid is coughing has been coughing for a month please talk to your pediatrician they may need some antibiotics yeah definitely something to look out for thanks so much for being here we'll still come on nine news